Good morning. All right. Well, welcome back for another Lighting Systems 2010 webinar. We are kicking off 2024 with our sustainability campaign. Today, we are presenting the first architectural fixture from stick bulb using environmentally friendly salvaged wood that also feature excellent output and optics. Joining us is stick bulbs managing partner Chris Beardsley. As always, if you have any questions during this presentation, please leave them in the chat and they will be answered at the end. If you'd like to schedule a follow up meeting with Chris, please reach out to your Lighting Systems representative. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Thomas. Um, and uh, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon from Stickbulb headquarters here in New York City. Uh, if you're not familiar with Stickbulb, we are we are uh, a New York City based lighting manufacturer. Uh, use, we make fixtures using sustainably sourced and reclaimed salvaged woods. Um, so we're really focused on sustainability. It's been the core of our DNA for, since our founding uh, a little over 10 years ago, certified climate neutral uh, enterprise, and just last year, a certified B Corporation. Um, we make fixtures out of linear pieces of wood uh, that we source from uh, sustainably managed forests or we salvage from uh, demolition sites and buildings in and around New York City. Uh, this is, uh, we build everything and ship it from our facility here in New York City. Um, we ship buildings to order. Um, so everything is, is uh, very open-ended and customizable. I'm gonna give a brief overview of our decorative collection and all the different families before focusing on our brand new architectural line. Uh, so just quickly through the decorative stuff, we make using these sticks and then different metal hardware connector pieces, a whole range of pieces from very simple table and floor lamps, which we call a torch series. It's one stick on a metal base. Um, we also do a very minimal wall sconce, we call ray sconce, comes in lengths from 18 inches up to five feet long with one standoff against the wall. Uh, there's two versions of this, one where the wall, the light is uh, wall facing and one where it's directional and grazing the wall. And linear pendants, uh, very minimal linear pendant with the same stick components, but in this case held with a central metal coupler piece um, go, they range in lengths from four feet up to 10 feet. Kind of building up in complexity, uh, our bow series uses a slightly different Y-shaped metal connector and can start to connect one stick to the next connector and so on and so forth to really build up an open-ended, um, very configurable system. We have standard configurations as either single pieces or what you see on the top here, um, up to five connectors all interconnected with different sticks, um, all of which have just one power drop. Um, the longer configurations uh, use aircraft cables to, to support the rest. This is maybe our most popular and iconic profile or silhouette of ceiling mounted fixture, the Skybang. Um, it's six sticks connected at slightly different angles. And I should mention all of our fixtures, the sticks can plug and play into the, connect, uh, the connecting hardware so that they A, ship flat packed and they can be configured to, so the light can be oriented facing more up, more down, more out or in as the, the space uh, dictates. X connector, uh, X collection, I should say, uh, uses what we call the X connector, which is a solid cast brass piece. Um, it can be made, uh, used to make these starburst like configurations like you see on the right, or more closed shaped diamond configurations, which can grow and start to have multiple diamond modules interconnected, uh, like you see on the left there, which we call truss. Chime, uh, maybe our biggest and uh, ceiling mounted fixture. Uh, it's the same stick connectors, but in this case held vertically from a, a ring that has some curvilinear geometry from above. And each of those sticks is on a pivoting ball joint connection. So the lights can be oriented to all face in or face out or face um, eliminating the stick adjacent to them. Um, and there are also three different ring sizes. So you can start to do these nested, what we call cascade like configurations. So that is a quick overview of the decorative stuff that we've been known for for the past 10 plus years. Um, just recently, we're launching our new architectural line. 
um, which is a first for us. And the story we're, we're calling this tree line. The story of tree line is really almost more about the material that it's made from uh, than the fixture itself. So I'm going to talk about the story of the material and how this fixture came to be, and then get into the some of the the product specs. So tree line is we're saying grown, salvaged, and made in NYC. Grown and salvaged in NYC because the wood that's being used to manu to make these fixtures um, derived from our years of working with salvaging wood in New York City connected us to um, an opportunity, which is the urban forest in New York City, i.e. any tree that's growing in the five boroughs of New York. Um, when a tree comes down, it's actually, unfortunately, only a tiny fraction of that is shipped and has, uh, is used as mulch. The vast majority of those trees go to landfill. Um, and we identified this as uh, a problem, but one that, that also posed an opportunity. And so for the last couple of years, we've been working to pilot a project to find a different um, supply chain to salvage that wood and actually turn it into usable wood material uh, for use in any number of, of uh, things and products, uh, in our case, light fixtures. So New York City, which is where we're based, actually has an amazing documentation of its urban forest. Um, there's hundreds of thousands of trees. Uh, and they're all hyper uh, well documented with a, a New York City Parks Department website. Um, so it really allows for the planning and organization of, of um, a workflow. So when a tree comes down, instead of it just being trucked, uh, chopped up and trucked to landfill, it comes to a central um, staging area where those trunks, that's when we come in and we um, bring a Sawyer and when there's enough of a supply of, of oaks to be um, roughs on, Sawyer comes in and our, mills these trunks to our specifications. Um, so it's all happening actually on the, the Brooklyn waterfront. Um, you see some examples of the process taking place right now. I said we mill them to our specifications. It's actually a, a rift and quarter sawn, um, rough sawing process that uh, optimizes the grain and consistency of the grain. Those rough sawn planks are then stacked left to air dry for a period of months um, outdoors before being finished dried in the kiln uh, and then milled into the light fixtures uh, that are tree line. So what is tree line? What is the fixture itself? What can it do? Uh, this gives you a sense. We, we're taking that oak, and that I should have mentioned this is all uh, pin oak, which is the second most common uh, species of New York City tree. Um, we're doing that, taking that oak and doing one of three finishes: a black, which is a opaque stain, all in zero VOC, uh, hand applied stain; a natural, and a white, which is the same opaque white stain. Here's what it looks like. Um, from the outside, it might appear to be a pretty typical workhorse um, linear fixture with direct and indirect light. Um, it comes, we're offering it in lengths four foot, five foot, six foot, and eight foot, um, single pieces of wood. Uh, um, this gives you some better visualization of the whole life cycle of that, this from the tree to the plank to the finished product. Um, and we can also do customized wood finishes as well. Light outputs, they're optics, both in the direct and indirect. We have a narrow, a wide, bat wing, and asymmetric um, engineered lensing options. I mentioned the lengths, comes from four, five, six, and eight foot lengths. CRI is all 90 plus. Delivered lumens. Um, it has in each direction a total lumen output of 1,100 lumens per foot. Uh, combined, the max would be 1,800 lumens uh, per foot in, in both directions. Um, standard dimming protocol options, 0 to 10 volt Dolly uh, Lutron ecosystem. Um, and I should mention, this is in the process of having an EPD for this, this product. Um, it was uh, participated in a um, LCA analysis. And so that's the, where they're going to have an EPD. Uh, it's one of the few near, uh, US 
manufactured light fixtures that will have an EVD. Give you a little bit of visualization on end mounting comes standard with end mounting aircraft cables and a power cord. All the power cords and internal wiring of this fixture are PVC free jacketed and um, internal wiring. Uh, there's also an option for a center mount where those suspension points come in a little bit to the center. And the canopies at the ceiling, pretty standard, available in black or white and round or square, all able to be specified on our spec sheets. And then another thing I'll mention here is the design of the fixture allows for the side to open up, giving you full access for servicing of the fixture, servicing of drivers, boards, and lenses. And when it all comes together, there she is. I will mention one other thing at the end here. Uh, I'll give a little plug for Stickbulb's new website. Uh, we just earlier last year, or late last year, um, launched a new website which has a lot more resources available for specifiers to look at, um, get spec sheets, 3D models, and for every product on there, uh, it's configurable. So configurable with all the different sizes it's, it's um, available in, different wood types, metal types, um, spec sheets are downloadable, 3D models are downloadable, uh, and material swatches can be requested. Um, there's a form on the website to request models and this gives you a sense of if you do that what you're going to get uh, we have a, a small um, swatch book we call it for the decorative wood types and then uh, swatches for this um, reclaimed new york city pin oak that's being used for the tree line collection so if you have any questions uh you take them now otherwise feel free to check out our website or follow us on Instagram. All right, Chris, thanks for keeping us on time with our technical difficulties. So thank you for the <laughs> excellent presentation. Uh, Stickball, along with our other sustainable brands are featured in our updated sustainability digital brochure. So please check that out on our website. It has all the latest sustainable products from our manufacturers. We've also added a sustainability page under the resources tab on our site for easy access to all of our environmentally friendly manufacturers. All right, let's see what questions we have in the chat. Uh, so this one got answered, but Jesse asked, what are your current estimated lead times? Uh, ben, let us know that it's uh, the range is from four to 16 weeks. Tree line is currently at six to eight weeks. Uh, so Chris, next question, can you integrate in lighted controls? Um, it's, I'm sure we could. Uh, our approach to this, because architectural is a, is a new, uh, slightly new territory for us, um, we're taking custom requests uh, for things that are in our currently on our list of options on the spec sheet um, on a case by case basis. Um, I'm sure that that can be accommodated. Great. Uh, what is the maximum light output from direct and indirect combined? Uh, so it's. In either direction, if you're just doing a single direction, it would be up to 1,100 lumens per foot. Uh, if you wanted to max out both, uh, there's a the limitation is a total output of 1,800 lumens per foot. Excellent. Uh, and then I had another one sent directly to me. Can you do a custom finish on the wood? Uh, absolutely, we can, and uh, because one of the benefits of working with wood is that it can take any number of different stains, uh, finishes. So we have a long history of doing that for our decorative stuff. Same as possible for the for the tree line architectural. Um, we have a process where if if the customer wants, we can make a sample for approval. Once it's approved, we go into production. Great. Last chance. Any more questions? Okay, well, thank you for attending today. Next month, we will present the exceptional new Parallela family from Axolite. And remember, if you'd like to meet with Chris, please reach out to your Lighting Systems representative. Thanks, and have a great day.